So let me make this abundantly clear. Just just in case anybody that's tuning into Raw right now, watching it live, um, you know, and anybody's been that's been hearing this you know throughout the day. Let me tell you this right now. There is there is more of a chance that Becky Lynch is gonna take time off, be with her daughter, you know, pull as somebody puts it a Johnny Gagano, be with her daughter, you know, help raise her and then come back later in the year, maybe Survivor Series War Games, Royal Rumble next year. We'll see. But I highly doubt WWE is going to let her go. And I am more sure than anything that she has probably already re-signed a contract. She's probably already re-signed a, re-signed a new deal. And the reason I say that is because this is not the old... Vince McMahon regime in error, okay? This is a new error. This is under Nick Khan. This is under Triple H. And as we have noticed, Triple H, he doesn't think too kindly about, I guess you could say, outlets like Fightful and others, if you know what I mean. He doesn't take what they say very seriously, with it, you know, at all. And mostly, we're in an error in time, as proven throughout past situations, that Triple H likes to keep things secretive and close to the vest. In other words, he's not about to let it get out there in, you know, in WWE to where certain people that leak information to the likes of Fightful and PW Insider and others will be able to do so. So he's going to keep it close to the vest and he's going to make it feel like, like, you know, he's going to act and make it feel like, hey, she hasn't done anything yet. She hasn't resigned. But in fact, the truth is, she probably has. We just won't know it until before or after her expiration date on her current contract is up. I mean, we saw it recently with Drew McIntyre, close to his being over. Same with Seth Rollins. You know, the same here. Again, you know, this is a different time and a different era. They're not about to let, you know, you know, basically those within WWE that they might have found out about, might have heard about, that are known for leaking information that they're not supposed to. They're not about to let it get out that she's resigned just so they can brag it to people like Fightful. I mean, with all due respect to Sean Ross Sapp, one of the best, along with Mike Johnson, the PW Insider. But still, there is no way, in my opinion, because I'm just looking at this from somebody that's a wrestling fan, but watching it you know, on the out, from the outside looking in, you know, and taking everything in, you know, if you will, kind of put, piecing it all together. <laughs> to me, this is, this just feels like, you know, she's resigned and she's staying, but they're not going to let us know until the time is right. And if she does go away, they probably have an agreement in place that when she comes back, that's when her new deal will officially begin and she'll get what she's earned which she deserves and then that's it i mean i know there's people that want to see her go to aew and tna and new japan and that's fine but you know that's that's up to whether or not we could be wrong you know or at least i could be wrong in my speculation but i just feel based off what i've seen lately under this triple h regime yeah i think it's more than likely she probably has resigned you know and it's more than likely we're going to not find out until later on, if you know what I mean. And I know that might piss off the likes of Sean Ross Sapp and those at Fightful, you know, select, you know, might piss off people like Mike Johnson, the PW Insider and his, and his crew. But let's be honest, we're, we're in a day and age now too. I don't think Triple H is going to want the secret to get out about, hey, she's resigned, you know. He's not going to want that to get out because if if it does, it's like, then what's the point? You know, then, you know, what's the point of unpredictability anymore? He wants to go back to that. We've seen that. I mean, did anybody think Tonga Leo, uh, Tonga Leo was going to make a, re- you know, make his return to former Camacho was going to make his return to WWE? No, everybody thought Jacob for two. It wasn't. It was Tonga Leo. And then what about Tama Tonga? You know, people thought Jacob for two, but it was Tama Tonga. 
you know, yeah, word was he was in town, but nobody knew whether or not he would show up, and that, yet there he was, you know. And again, you go to what was a backlash and everything. Everybody thought, oh, here comes, you know, Jacob Artuta to interfere in this match, and yet it's Tongaleo. You know, you see what I'm saying? Nobody saw that company. Nobody even knew, you know, the former Camacho was returning. Nobody. Everybody thought far too. So, to me, to me, if they can keep something like that a secret, they can keep Johnny Gargano's return that one time a secret. Let's be honest. Do you think they're really going to let it, you know, be known that hey, Becky Lynch has resigned, you know, days before her actual contract, current contract? Uh, expires, you think they're going to let that be known? No, they're not. You know, they're not going to let it be known. So if I'm Sean Ross Sapp and I'm Mike Johnson, I'm those that feel like, hey, I got reliable inside sources in WWE that let me in on the know. If I'm you guys, I would basically take what they tell you now for, from here on in. I take that with a grain of salt. I take that with a very, very big grain of salt because, or even questionable grain of salt. Because they may not be in, on the inside as much as you think they are, like they used to be. But as far as I'm concerned, I think she has resigned. But under this new regime with Triple H and Nick Khan, they're not going to let it be known until the time is right. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys, and I'll talk to you all later.